Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Now I've been talking about this one for months. Uh, ever since I did the first video on uh, a bunch of Zimmy Smart gear, and this was included in there, I've been wanting to do a, a full video on this uh, with me actually uh, getting Tasmoda on there and actually working correctly because uh, uh, as you probably know if you saw the original video that when I first put Tasmoda on it it didn't do anything you know it didn't uh, didn't function at all as I needed it to so I couldn't control it uh, outside of just the local switch there so it's kind of a pain but nonetheless this is the uh, fan light uh, combo switch as you can see here on uh, Zimmy Smart's website nice uh, sleek design and everything so uh, definitely worth uh, checking out And of course, if you don't want to purchase it straight from Zimmy Smart uh, and you do any uh, shopping at AliExpress, then of course, here is the, their website as well, which has it for sale, so you can get it from there. Interestingly enough, they still mention the uh, Zimmy Smart 4th anniversary celebration, which was uh, well over a month ago. I'm not sure why that's still on their website, but uh, probably needs to be updated. So I opened a uh, ticket with uh, Tesmoda uh, on their GitHub page and explained to them the issue I was having. And uh, luckily uh, there were some others that had interest in it as well. And so with the help of some of the other people in the forums, they were able to uh, get this going. And so this uh, firmware is not in the full uh, production version of Tesmoda yet, but uh, I think it is in the developer version. That's where we are pulling it from here. So uh, as we go through this video, uh, you'll see all that. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, for starters, we're going to unbox the device, uh, as always. And then, of course, once we do that, we'll go through and kind of install the switch. At least give you an outline of what I did to install the switch. Uh, once it's installed and uh, up and running, then we will uh, flash it with Tasmoda. And once we got Tasmoda flashed and functioning properly on there, then we are going to add that switch into Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so um, here is the actual uh, fan light combo switch. It just comes in a little single box here. Not a whole lot to it. As you can see, it's all in one piece. Uh, the only thing else you get in the box other than that is just the basic instructions and some uh, screws to mount it to the, uh, the electrical box. All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, so let's install the switch. So of course, uh, for my wall box, I had uh, a separate switch for my light and a separate switch for my fan. So of course, this is a two gang wall, wall box and I only have a one gang switch with this fan light combo switch so i'm gonna have to kind of customize something to make it work so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh fan light combo switch and i got a two gang blank wall plate i'm going to cut a, a place for that to basically mount this to that wall plate so it's a, a little bit uh of a unique situation uh, there's probably stuff you can order online uh, you know to to do something like that without having to cut one yourself and you could probably 3d print it as well i opted to just buy a blank one and cut it myself so all right so here we are i've kind of cut the hole in there and as you can see i've got it uh in place uh, it's probably not perfect but for uh my office this should work just fine 
let's get this thing installed in the wall all right so as you can see here i've got it wired in i've got the wall plate mounted and i just have it kind of hanging out there at the moment so you can kind of see it's just going to go right in and should fit uh, pretty good without too much trouble here and there it is again like i said it's not perfect but uh it works fine I'm, obviously if you had a uh, a single gang wall box uh, that that had both your fan and light into it this would be a, a much better solution than for mine but again like I said it works uh, for for my office just fine the uh, the fan control is more almost like a light dimmer than anything else um, so of course as you slow down uh, the fan speed it's basically uh, you know you'll start to hear a little bit of a buzzing sound just because of how it, how it handles that control for the fan my office I uh, pretty much leave the fan going full speed uh, you know year-round just because of all the equipment and stuff in there so I won't be changing the speed too often well, at least locally uh, at this moment everything functions uh, you know straight here on the uh, wall plate now we're ready to get it flashed with Tasmoda. All right, so of course we're gonna use our trusty Raspberry Pi uh, with Tuya Convert installed on it uh, to flash this device. All right, so we'll run our uh, start flash.sh script. Uh, go ahead and hit yes. You need to add your smartphone or something to the uh, Wi-Fi, uh, the vtrust-flash. Once you do that, and hit enter, and it should start flashing. All right, once it's done flashing, then we're going to go ahead and uh, do the final step here, and then reboot the switch. So we've got the, the regular version of uh, Tasmoda on there. I think it's like 6.5 is what's currently on there. I need to get it to the new developer version, which will be 6.6 uh, 6 something, uh, depending on whatever version is on the uh, developer page currently. I really do nightly builds and stuff. We're going to go with the, uh, the 1 meg uh, version. So we'll get download the... Uh, minimal.bin and then the regular sonoff.bin and I'll have the link uh, in the description below so you'll know where to go to get to the developer page to download these dev files all right so here we are on the firmware update uh, page of the uh, fan light switch in Tesmoda so we're gonna say uh, choose a file all right so select the new minimal file that I just downloaded we'll say start upgrade That one's done. Give it a second to come back up. So now we're running 6.6.0.4. We'll go upgrade the full version now. So it's a firmware upgrade and finally regular sonoff.bin. And we'll start upgrade on that one. And here we are, I want the Tuya dimmer module already uh, selected on there. So I know there's multiple switches here. The, uh, the only ones we're gonna really care about are the toggle one and toggle three. Toggle one will control the fan and toggle three will control the light. I know it can be kind of confusing, but since for me anyway, I don't use Tasmoda to control my device very often at least not the web interface. I basically use Tasmoda with an MQTT and send everything over, so this is not an issue. So let's jump over here and make sure that our uh, MQTT is set up correctly. Everything looks good there. We are ready to move on to the next step. All right, so uh, we're gonna add this switch into our Home Assistant config. 
there's multiple steps with this because we got a fan switch we're gonna have a light switch so uh, let's go ahead and start by adding in our fan so I'm adding this as an actual MQTT fan component so in my fan.yaml file here find me an open spot down here at the bottom of course the platform is MQTT for the name I'm gonna call it office fan And of course, now for the command topic, uh, let's see, it'll be following the MQTT configuration that I already have set up on the uh, test mode switch here. So we're going to say um, sonoff cmnd office dash switch slash power one. Power one means that first switch button will be the fan control. Speed command topic, uh, this one will be sonoff uh, slash cmnd slash office dash switch slash dimmer because that is the type of speed control we're going to be using state topic this will be sewn off slash stat slash office dash switch slash result And we'll do the same thing for our speed state topic as well. And I'm not 100% sure if we need the value templates, but we're going to add them in there anyway. So speed value template. I'm going to uh, go ahead and set this. So it'll be uh, value underscore JSON dot dimmer. And state value template will be value underscore JSON dot power one. Now I always set my retain to be true. The uh, payload underscore off is going to be off in all caps and payload underscore on will be on in all caps and now we're going to set the uh, the fan controls up here so let's see um, so we're going to have three speeds low medium and high you might be able to add more I, I didn't play around with it too much three speeds was plenty for me so uh, for payload underscore low underscore speed I'm going to set it to uh, 33 and this is basically because it's on a scale of 100, so I broke it up into three sets, so 33, 66, and then I just want 100 for the high speed. So payload load speed will be 33. Payload medium speed, we're going to say 66. And then, of course, payload high speed will be 100. And then uh, for the little drop down that'll be in Home Assistant, we're going to have uh, speeds. We'll have low, medium, and high listed there. That'll give us uh, a like an input select where we can choose which one we want. Once we have all that in there, we'll go ahead and save it. And then let's go ahead and add in our light switch. So we're going to edit my lights.yaml file here. Find an open spot down here. Again, the platform will be MQTT. And I'll have all this in the description below so you can copy and paste it. And you should also be able to find it on my GitHub page as well. So feel free to check it out there. All right, name will be Office Light. The command topic uh, will be sonoff slash cmnd slash office dash switch slash power three for that third toggle button. State topic will be the same. Uh, we're going to say the state value template 
is uh, value underscore JSON dot power three. QoS, I'm going to set it to one. All right, payload underscore on will be on in all caps. Payload underscore off will be off in all caps. Go ahead and set the retain to true. And of course, once we have all that in there, let's go ahead and save it. And then we're going to jump over to uh, Home Assistant here and restart for our changes to take effect. And let's just go ahead and check it out real quick. So uh, here we are, my little test uh, page in Home Assistant. I've added my office light and my office fan. As you can see, there's the office light. You turn it on and off. Here's the office fan with our uh, speed controls right here. So we'll be able to control it and select what speed we want, uh, low, medium, and high. Everything looks good there. Let's go ahead and jump over to the last step. All right, so uh, here we are in Home Assistant. Kind of got everything going here. I got the uh, fan going in the background so you can see it. On the left side here, I got Home Assistant uh, with the controls there in Home Assistant. And then on the right side, I got the uh, Tuya web page with its controls in it as well, just so we can see uh, the response time and how, how well it works and everything. So I got the fan going, got the light on. Let's go ahead and turn the fan off. As you can see, the fan is slowing down. So everything looks like it's functioning properly there. Let's go ahead and turn the fan back on. And there's the fan picking up speed again, so everything looks good. We'll do the same thing with the light. Yeah, it took it a little bit for it to update everywhere across the board, but it did turn off. Go ahead and turn it back on. There we go. Everything looks good. That's the end of the video, guys. As you can see, it's a pretty lengthy video. Uh, I tried to uh, make it as quick and to the point as I possibly could. Uh, but now we have a Zimmy Smart fan light combo switch uh, running Tesmoda, and uh, we are able to control it uh, fully from the you know the device itself as well as home assistant uh, works like a champ so if you're looking for a clean looking uh, modern style uh, wall plate and wall switch this is definitely one you want to check out check out Zemi smarts page I'll have the links in the description below let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video so of course for starters we unbox the device uh, then I kind of ran through just installing it in the wall. Uh, once we did that, we flashed it with Tasmoda. After that was up and running, we added our switch into Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I just showed you what that looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. Again, I hope you liked the video. I hope it was uh, informative. And I know I've been talking about it for months, so I wanted to finally get that out there now that at least... Everybody should have access to the developer um, Tesmoda files to be able to get their switch like this working as well. And it should work for uh, the European, Australian version, whatever other versions they have of this switch should work the same way as well. So everything should function properly. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.